Well, she dreamed of being an artist, but life got in the way. Her dream was put on hold. Emily Stroud shows us how she is making the most of a second chance. I never knew I could paint. Years ago, she started art school, but then family member after family member faced a health crisis. So I put the art on the back shelf. Decades later, Angela Marlowe finally has time for herself and her art. I never had anybody to teach me um, because I had to drop out of art school very quickly. So I just got a little education with it there. And then um, YouTube, the glory of YouTube now. Um, I just went on there and I learned how to paint trees. That was just the beginning. She taught herself to create realistic paintings, which take a long time. But she also created acrylic paintings for family and friends that don't take as much time. You can see they're whimsical. I decoupage uh, with matte medium some little sayings that are torn out of books, old antique books and uh, magazines and stuff. And you have to look for, the, for those little sayings in the image. They're hidden. They're like little hidden treasures, I guess. And it, it, you don't know they're there unless you get close and you start looking. And then you run up on them, and then you just smile. Angela paints in this studio at her home in La Follette, and it was just a hobby. I'm no art critic, but I also know when something looks good. And I thought, some people need to see this. Her husband, Greg, insisted on entering this, the first painting she ever made, into the Louis Bluey Music and Arts Festival. He also entered her second painting. One of the people with the, associated with the festival, she met me at the door and she goes, oh, did you come to get Angela's ribbons and her paintings? And I said, yeah, I did. And she said, well, she was her own competition. She won first and second place and best in show. The only reason she didn't win third is she only entered two paintings. When he walked upstairs with the ribbons, I just, I guess I, I just lost it because I had no idea I would win anything like that. I have no idea. It gets better. Angela's paintings will be featured at the Master's Edition Gallery of Light at Walden's Landing in Pigeon Forge the entire month of June. I'm working 8 to 13 hours every day. Um, just paint, 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 nonstop. <laughs> and having fun every day. It's the best thing I've ever done. I'm so happy doing it. So happy. She's so happy to be doing what she loves. I'm Emily Stroud, live at 5 at 4. And our art show starts this Sunday at the Gallery of Light in Pigeon Forge. Really neat. Oh, she's incredibly talented, goodness.